got two reels of canvas one inch. Okay. That's in that side compartment. Okay. Um, of course, like in any truck you have to, or any fire truck, you want the siren and the flashing lights to work because those are the most important parts of the truck. I presume they work. <laughs> they do. Oh, we had to turn the key on to make it all work. No. As long as she's powered. Powered up there. <coughs> my, left, my neighbor down here is the, is the fire marshal for the Logic Fire Department. So oh, so he doesn't mind. <laughs> okay. No, he probably these, does. <laughs> these are, these are uh, floodlights here. It says back up, left, right yeah, alley. So those are going to be side lights. Yeah, I never lights. used any of that because I, I don't That's operate siren at night. Volume. So. Um, is this the type of siren you're throwing? Is that what that is? That may be manual radio, Yelp, and high low. Yeah, that may be that you can talk through a speaker up in the front. Oh, PA. There. Yep. There you go. Oh, that's going to be fun to figure out. Yeah. How to yell at the kids in the parade. <laughs> well, this will make its first parade debut at the Sisters Fourth of July parade. That's Ooh, when it will be cool. used first. Yeah. Cool. I had to show you the picture of that. Uh, yeah. You got to a point to where let me grab my phone up. It was Were you the guy that lives in Albany? Or did No no I you came over from Sisters. Yeah, I came over from Sisters. in the rear to, to move it around in the woods. Don't go out of the <laughs> shade here. Let me show you. I can find it here. You probably don't have internet up here, internet up here, so you probably didn't do much of checking on my stuff at all. Long. Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? Yep. yep. I was able to go through a couple of them. You're like, okay, this guy knows what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, get I, down. I, I seen that you, uh, you, you do have some rings. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere. I'm trying to... Hey! Stop. Just stop it. Come on. It wasn't that long ago when I used it. Apparently it was. There. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's a 77. But that's a Sundance edition. So that's orange and white. They made them in orange and white and brown okay. and white. They only made 1,500 of them. They were sold as a cab chassis. Mm -hmm. This is one of 50 that they ever made that has a Caterpillar diesel in it from the factory. Oh. Mm -hmm. Picked that up out of um, south of Modesto, California, down in the, the valley. Mm -hmm. And we actually drove that all the way home, too. That was mm -hmm. 660 miles home, though, so this is <laughs> significantly less. Oh, yeah. However, that had brand new Alcoa wheels and tires on it, so these tires do make me a little nervous. Those things are old. So those will have to I'm get replaced at some point. I'm surprised that the, I'm surprised that the Corvallis Fire Department... I mean, they must have done something in the time that they owned it. Because, like I said, 47 years. Yeah. They probably had it for... They had it probably from 85 to on. 85 to 16. Well, yeah. those tires could have been bought in the 80s or 90s. With yeah. as low a mileage, they never put any miles on them. So, they, yeah. you know, and they probably kept it inside 100% of the time. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I can see why they probably didn't. Because they're expensive. Mm -hmm. And they're split rim wheels, which are very difficult to deal with. So, hey. Uh, start the thing up. And yeah. So many facets. I know it's a lot of, a lot of moving parts per se. There it is. Three ninety two. Three ninety two with big exhaust, but it doesn't need very big exhaust. Yeah. That's a diesel exhaust. It looks like a. Well, I noticed on the, 
I noticed on the registration that they made out when they did my title, it says diesel on it. But probably because they assume every fire truck is diesel. Irregardless of what the engine is in it. All right, so while we have our camera rolling, tell me the tell me what you know. Let me turn it off. Tell me what you know from beginning to end. As far as on the Six dollars for fuel. You said <laughs> that it started in okay Mount Shasta. In Mount Shasta, or the Shasta County County uh, District, this thing was put together for them for I guess what's it called uh, in 1975. I've mm -hmm. got the book and stuff that has all of the original pricing on everything as they built it wow and um and then roughly around say 1985 the corvallis oregon uh, fire department purchased it and drove it from uh, northern california up to corvallis oregon and used it for from about 85 to 2016 and then i purchased it in 2016 for my uh, logging company and used it from then until this current date 2022 and you, and you said you log right here and you log yeah. your property here okay yes and that's why uh, you bought the property to log <laughs> well it's, it's it's been in the family property's been in the family for 70 years oh so, wow okay um, and we logging is our business so yeah uh, but primarily bought it for protection here at the house and for logging on the uh, property that i own and um yeah it's served its purpose and it's like any fire truck they're really most fun when you're not using them for what they're in, used for when they're not used for a disaster <laughs> right using it for a parade or going to yeah. kids schools or yeah. whatever and putting smiles on kids faces yeah. exactly that's really what they're best at and uh it will get lots of use for that with us for sure because we got i mean i have kids he has kids and mm -hmm. Sisters is a small community, and we got lots of yeah. firefighters and stuff, so it'll be fun to be able to use it for that. And you guys are plagued with interesting fire seasons, so yeah, every year it's <laughs> every year you roll the dice, you never know what we're gonna get. Yeah. So, but there's been two. So I've lived on my property for ten years this year, mm -hmm. and there's been two fires that have got within a half a mile of my property in the last four years, mm -hmm. and that you know i i began the search for one of these many years ago collecting internationals like i told you on the phone mm -hmm. the, a d series truck is what i had wanted originally a 69 to 75 mm -hmm. regular pickup cab but a one and a half ton dually with a pierce bed which is it's just a scaled down version of this mm -hmm. so that's what i was always after f thinking that you know it'd be the easiest to maneuver around it kind of goes with my collection and everything else well mm -hmm. then i got the lodestar this year and i thought well i'll open my expansion to the load stars because they're cool too mm -hmm. and this being a four-door ones even you know makes it a little bit neater as far as i'm concerned the tra they call it a travel crew i don't know if mm -hmm. you know that that's what they actually call them mm -hmm. so that just you know kind of it up the cool factor and mm -hmm. these hold more water mm -hmm. sometimes two sometimes three times as much depending on the, the tender size so. mm -hmm. this one being a 500 gallons at least twice as much as any of the small brush trucks so yeah. and i don't know how long that'll last when you're running a hose i don't know if you've ever ran it out well, or I mean, most it's right or most, of, minute, most of the time I don't when I when I dump the water in this thing like say in October when fire season's over sure uh, I don't just hit the petcock and walk away from it no I, I pump it out yeah and it it lasts quite a while even under pretty good pressures yeah uh, but of course as anybody knows when you're in a fire situation it's never gonna uh, last long it's enough. it's all that time just kind of yes. goes away yeah so uh, when you say that it lasts a little while you think it lasts for five minutes. It lasts for ten minutes. You can last say for you twenty minutes. For fifteen, maybe twenty. Fifteen or twenty minutes. Yeah, that's if you were if you were shooting stuff out of that brass nozzle up there. Yeah, uh, your one inch hose, and I think that's a maybe a maybe a quarter, maybe three eighths uh, nozzle on mm -hmm. the outlet. Um, I mean, this thing was everything that the the Oregon Department of Forestry would. I mean, they just they. Did you have it inspected or certified while you were using it for logging, or did you not have to because it was private? No, I didn't have to. Okay. I mean, I could, but I didn't have to. But Corvallis had to have that. They had to have that inspection every year to be oh, able yeah. to keep it certified. So I'm even though it was an old truck, they had to have it certified every year in order to continue probably. to use it for their for their yeah, outfit. Probably. Yeah, probably. So up until 2016, we reasonably could probably say it was certified for U.S. Forest Service certified. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah, I wouldn't think that they would keep anything that wasn't uh, capable of going out. And, and I'm guessing these were their fighting. placards, whether they were going like E1, E2, E3, depending on what type of fire it was on and how many men were going, that Probably. they would change their placards. Yeah, Probably. okay. Yeah. I'll have to hunt down some of that stuff, see if I can find some of that somewhere. I'm guessing the internet will allow me to find some of that somewhere, maybe. Okay. Well, I'm, I've got to be honest, man. I'm like, like I said to the guy at the Lodestar, I'm honored to buy it. Like, it's just cool. You know, it is I mean, a cool it, truck. It, it, I feel really blessed in the sense that these things sometimes find me. Mm -hmm. Like, I had a friend who uh, is a subscriber of my YouTube channel and follows us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Don't talk to him on a regular basis. He sent me the ad last night, like an hour or two after your daughter posted it. He's oh, like, wow. here's your fire truck. Mm -hmm. Didn't even know it was on Facebook. Didn't even know it was for sale. Didn't even know it was on Craigslist. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Didn't even know about it. And he sent it to me. I'm like, oh my god. And then I just I messaged Amy, and she mm -hmm. messaged me back this mm -hmm. morning. And I felt bad because I sent her like two or three messages because I wasn't sure if she was getting the message. <laughs> and I know that something like this, you know, there's probably four guys behind me that if I don't buy it, they're going to show up and they'll take it too, you know. But they might be guys that are actually going to use it for a fire. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas, mm -hmm. well, she apparently approves of it already too. Um, fire dog. We're just going to use it for fun and for, for home protection. Mm -hmm. but, no, I'm just I'm excited. This is awesome. It's in great shape. It definitely has a few little scars from being used, but that means it was used. Yeah. You know, if they're perfect, perfect, then you know the thing was never on a fire. This mm -hmm. was clearly on a fire more than once. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, definitely. Um, does it use any fluids that you know of? Does it use any tranny fluid or coolant or engine oil? I or? haven't seen that there's been any fluids. Nothing significant. Uh, I would say that. I would say that when it sits for long periods of time, mm -hmm. there's a little bit of seepage evidently in the in the masters. I'm guessing they're the, not the masters, but the slaves probably in the front front wheels, mm -hmm. front brakes, wheel cylinders. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I checked all that this morning. It was all right up to snuff. So okay. I don't, again, I don't know. It doesn't appear to be a, a, a ton of, of seepage. Um, well, thankfully, I think when I looked at the GPS, I think we're less than 100 miles from the house. I don't think we're mm -hmm. quite, I think it's right just under 100 miles. So, and I've got a friend that has a transport company that he's got a semi and a low boy. Mm -hmm. So if it blows a tire or if, it, you know, if we have something that we feel is unsafe. Right. I'll just stop and call them and they'll come over with a low boy and a winch, mm -hmm. tray, a winch on it and put it up on the low boy and chain it down and take it mm -hmm. home and spend an extra thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't seen that there's any uh, coolant, all of that stuff. Everything seems to, everything seems to be okay. on board. There didn't seem to be any leaks or I haven't had any trouble that I would say. Yeah. Again, again, driving it from where I got it in Corvallis to yeah. here, it's basically been yeah. here. I have, don't but Corvallis it. is what 25 miles away, yeah. 30 miles away, yeah. and you had to drive down the highway, so you had to yeah. go 52 or 55 or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah and your is only this... issue today would be probably that pulled up all the traffic. Yeah, <laughs> is this the site for the water? No, what is this? That is the site for the water gauge. So the water will the, fill the, that as the, as the tank gets filled. This this comes up and you're okay. supposed to be able to see it, but of course it's might need to be replaced yeah. so with something newer and more clear mm -hmm. yeah. it looks like it's just had it's probably just the uh, the iron in the water or whatever that mm -hmm. stained it over the years mm -hmm. okay we'll replace that and if you pull these valves here uh-huh with these caps off you water will take, you will take a shower okay you got water like both sides here intake both sides water output both sides okay water output both sides uh i believe they're the same Everything's just kind of near. Do the same fighting. Right, right. So you get the exact same thing here. Yes. Same. Uh, same outlet. Same there. outlet there. So you and then the one out the front. Okay. And then the other. Hey, stay out of there. There's a. Another thing I saw on the other side. I want to ask you. Go around this way here. Okay. Um, yes, Ed, right the tray. Gets to your engine. So this says tank to pump, push open, full close, tank fill, push open, full close, and then to prime. So I'm guessing okay. is that all to do with the water or is that partially to do with the chemical? I'm thinking that this right here has everything to do with sucking water into that tank. Okay. okay. 
Got it. And so if you're sucking water, that would be with these when things. You, with these things in, it says pull, pull um, open, push close. Yeah. I, I've never fooled around with them any because I've never, I've never. So these have always been in this position while right. you've operated. So right. okay. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be unless I go to a fire hydrant. I don't think I'll use that. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave that alone for now. But I just kind of want to know what it was. You can do some late. Yeah, the reading. book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then was there a door on this at one no time door. do you think nope. no no okay it's just yeah your tools in here and so this is for like shovel axe yep. shovels and axes and okay. grab them did you see this part come here check this out and signal lights canteens all work oh yeah brake lights it's i cool. believe canteens those are start. canteens work. Um, well if you guys can stand back here i'll throw some light and tell me. okay give us a brake light I, know, I checked the signal lights Brakes are a little tough there, so, so. Uh, you've got left signal, yep. Right signal, yep. Brake, like, yep. Like maybe a brake. I'm not sure you got a brake light on this one here, on the right. I'm not seeing anything. Maybe. Looks like brake light right is out. Is it out? Yep. Okay. Very possibly. Signal works. Yep. Way. And this is just pulled up and down. Yep. The. Um, I love the butterfly head. One thing. One thing I do know. Like I was saying on the. On the. Those I think were, I, I, I'm not sure whether those are manually operated on the inside. I think they are. To let heat out of the engine when mm -hmm. you're sitting on a fire. Yeah. Um, let me show you underneath. It's, are you interested in climbing underneath? Not, not terribly, but you can okay. tell me. Anyway, there's... I got I got concrete and asphalt it's, in my shop. It's pretty so. it's pretty self-explanatory. Right, oops, sir. Right up in there, uh, it's, uh, it's actually uh, it's it's it will run it will run this until everything's gone. Okay. So uh, it's pulling it pulls also out of I. It, it basically just pulls out of whatever tank that you're you're running at the time. Sure. You don't have to fasten those. I just saw that they were there. I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, that one's turned a little tiny bit. You can't get this all open without it. And yeah. so this this is the four cylinder Ford engine that goes to the and to get the that runs the pump. Pull this down. Uh huh. And then take those uh, boards, wooden boards, out of there. And take then that out. Panel that exposes the whole top of the engine. Gotcha. I'm guessing this must have been a water jug, or this was fire extinguishers, and that was fire extinguishers yeah. or chemical of some See kind. the wheel chocks there too? Yeah, there's wheel chocks on both sides. That's cool. Yep. That's nice just kitted out. Right here. Just kitted right out. Mostly. I mean, you know, there obviously was canteens there. They kept those. I feel like that stuff you might be able to find at like an army surplus store, though. Or just look online. Oh, you should just... It'd be fun to fill all that stuff up though, you know, back up all the stuff back up. When you when you prime it, when you let's say you've dumped all the water out of it, you've mothballed it for the winter, you okay. you, you go put your water in and for the first time, this is the, the we're springtime, we're putting water yeah. in, we're gonna go for the this first time. This is gonna prime the pump. There's an outlet for it right over there behind that that other dual over there. Okay. And it will run some antifreeze. <laughs> Yeah, yep. I can hear it. Yep. Okay. That primes the that, pump, the actual pump, yeah. before you fire this little engine right. up. so you're not running anything dry. Got it. Okay. And you just do that, just out of... Once you've got the system going, yeah. it's... I don't believe anything is going to run dry because you've got all this water yeah. on top of all the pump and stuff, so... How much water do you think's in there right now? Probably 300 gallons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about going up over the mountain. I don't know how much water I want. Really you want, want. You want to dump it? Well, we can either dump it or we can pump it. One of the two. Pump it out. Yeah. 
Uh, well, thank you, sir. I greatly appreciate it. It's going You're to a good home, as you well know. We will use it to parades and kids and stuff like that, but we're all going to use it. Also, use it for uh, prevent protecting the property.